KCAT Line political reporter Dave Bryan is live in Hollywood with the story and reaction. Dave. Yeah, Sylvia Lina, when the day began, of course, uh, there were some vivid ads promoting the movie, the interview. On those boards behind me across the street, you can see they've now been taken down. All this, the result of the hack attack on uh, Sony Pictures, which led to the cancellation of the, the beginning of that movie, the opening of it, which was supposed to be on Christmas. Now CBS News reports that that uh, hack attack originated in North Korea, and they're saying the ramifications of that attack could go far beyond canceling the opening of a movie. Just hours after billboard workers took down the last vestiges of promotional material for the interview, which was scheduled to open on Christmas, officials at the White House were wrestling with whether, when, and how to publicly accuse and respond to North Korea's massive hack attack on Sony Pictures Entertainment. CBS News quotes sources who say the FBI has definitely traced the attack back to the regime of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Using data wiping malware, CBS News reports they stole Sony Corporation secrets and erased computer files. We're going to North Korea! The Sony attack led to the cancellation of the planned release of the interview and cost the company millions of dollars. At the White House, Press Secretary Josh Earnest, who refused to publicly name North Korea, nonetheless called the attack a serious national security matter. There has been destructive activity uh, with malicious intent, and the, the administration <laughs> believes that that activity merits an appropriate response from the United States. Panorama City Congressman Tony Cardenas, who attached a cyber protection bill to the Defense Department budget authorization, which President Obama is expected to sign in the next few days, says while the attack on a movie studio is serious, it could pale in comparison with a possible hack attack on the nation's defense or infrastructure. We're having to fortify ourselves and put these walls up so that people aren't able to penetrate and maybe put the lights out in the second largest city in the country, right here in Los Angeles or in New York, or maybe even in infiltrate a grid of electricity that is critical to our defense system. On that point, Democrats and Republicans seem to agree. It should be a wake-up call that a country like North Korea has this kind of capability. It's time the Congress got together with the administration and passed legislation uh, on this whole issue of cybersecurity. Now the question is how to respond to North Korea. We've got to consider a range of serious options, which we're doing right now in the U.S. government, about how to respond to it. And um, <clears throat> I would not want this type of attack to be a wave of the future. Some members of Congress are pushing for tougher sanctions against the Kim Jong-un regime. We're going to impose those sanctions, which means that no bank uh, in Asia or anywhere else is to deal with the regime in North Korea. But sanctions haven't always had much effect on North Korean policy in the past, and Congressman Cardenas says the U.S. must defend itself this time. North Korea is, is in some ways a loose cannon, but the bottom line is America needs to realize that this is a serious matter. Not all fights or battles are person to person. Now it's electronic fights. It's the kind of things that we're being attacked in ways that we just have to be prepared to defend ourselves. Well, to put it simply, the to put it simply, the concern of uh, some of the members of Congress you saw is that if this hack attack could have this much of a, an effect on a major movie studio, what impact could it have on defense contractors, for example? And the concern is some of the smaller defense contractors here in California and across the country may not have the protections that are necessary to prevent such an attack. That's one of the problems that Congressman Cardenas' bill was designed to prevent. We're live in Hollywood. Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.